Welcome. All right, so yeah, this problem just doesn't look fun. I actually, um, before my students left today, I asked them, you know, could you go, could you go and solve this? This is some pre-calculus pre students. And they looked at it, and they were kind of a little puzzled. Um, but and it was pretty funny, too. They both decided to solve it different ways. One tried to do it with the um, square root method, and the other one actually tried doing the um, difference of two squares, which by inspection, Difference of two squares, I think, might look a little bit more confusing, you know, because I think whenever we have a quadratic in this form, square root method kind of screams out to us to apply. But when actually doing the mathematics, you know, especially if you didn't have a calculator, I would definitely take the, you know, factoring by the difference of two squares. So again, to factor by the difference of two squares, that means we need to make sure that we have a quadratic um, that can at least be written in the form of a squared term minus another squared term, and therefore we could factor it into a minus b times a plus b. Now, with all the fractions, I know you're probably looking at this and saying, oh man, this just looks too crazy. You know, how am I going to be able to solve, you know, how am I going to be able to find what a and b are? So the best thing I like to say is, well, if we're going to assume that this whole term is a squared and this whole term is b squared, if we can f determine what a and b are, then we can easily factor it. So I'll say a squared equals 144 over 196 x squared and b squared equals 400 divided by 121. And again, the purpose of this is we want to be able to find our values for a and for b. So to do that, I'm going to solve for a and for b. So I'll take the square root on both sides. And therefore, I now have a equals the square root of 144 is 12 divided by the square root of 136, 196, I'm sorry, is going to be 14, not 13. And the square root of x squared is just going to be x. Therefore, I can now say a equals 12 over 14 times x. And then b squared, take the square root. And therefore, b is going to equal the square root of 400 is 20 over the square root of 112, 121 is going to be 11. So now I can rewrite this in its factored form, set equal to 0 as 12 over 14x um, plus 20 over 11 times 12 over 14x minus 20 over 11. Now, you could obviously go ahead and simplify this example. You see that we have 12 over 14. But I'm not going to get nitpicky right now. I'm going to get, once I get to solving, I actually have to do some math. Then I'll definitely work on to solving it. So, um, so now I set these both equal to 0 by applying the 0 product property. So I have 12 over 14x plus 20 over 11. And 12 over 14x minus 20 over 11 equals 0. Now, I solve each of these separately by using my inverse operations. I subtract a 20 over 11. And therefore, I have a negative 20 over 11 equals 12 over 14x. Now, as I was mentioning to go ahead and simplify this, what I'll do is I'll multiply. To get rid of, if I have 12 over 14x, to, to isolate my variable, I'll multiply by the reciprocal, which would be 14 over 12 on both sides. And then what I can do now is now it's a very easy for me to simplify this, where I can now reduce, see I can divide a 4 into both of these terms. So that becomes 5, and this will become a 4. Now I can just multiply across, so I have 14 times 5. Well, uh, 4 times 5 is going to be um, 56, so therefore this would be 60, 70. So therefore I have 70 over 44 which now that seems I can still go ahead and simplify that. That's equal to x. And then I can reduce that again, which would be 35 over 2. OK. Yeah, 35 over 2 because of 4. Oh, no, that's 3. When you divide a 4 into both, that's going to be 3. So that's 33. I was going to say, you can't simplify that anymore. So therefore, that's going to be 70 over 33, which is going to be your final solution. And then this, which is going to be the exact same thing. I'm not going to go through all the work again. It's going to be the exact same thing, but instead of the positive version, it's just going to be the negative. x equals negative 70 over 33. And again, if you want to work it out, but you will see that the only difference is, oh, that's negative. Jeez, oh man, I'm having like a bad day, aren't I? I subtracted this over, and then I just totally forgot about this negative sign right here. So that's the negative version. And this is the positive version. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are your two uh, 
um, two solutions to this quadratic by solving using difference two squares. Thanks.